Hello friends, I am upset. The M plus class balance in patch 10.15 sucks. My team, as you may know, we pretty much only play our mains, even if they're not meta. Now people have been saying, and you might say, but crit, there's always a meta, stop complaining. But the thing is, the meta has never been this far ahead of non-meta before. And my team, we always accept being one, maybe two key levels below them, the top teams and the meta. But in 10.15, it's not just one or two key levels. It's more like three or even four sometimes. Uh, it's just insane how far ahead the meta comp is right now. I mean, just look at this. The, the stats speak for themselves. Guardian Druid, Holy Paladin, Fire Mage, Shadow Priest and Augmentation Evokers are absolutely dominating the rankings right now. Everyone's playing them. They're just so far ahead. It just isn't a fair game anymore. If you want to push the highest keys, you just can't compete unless you're playing the Metacom or somehow sneaking into the Metacom with a different class. So now, many players are pretty much in the position where they have to decide if they want to keep playing their class and play at a major disadvantage, or they can say, screw it, I can't beat them, I'm joining them. Or they can just take a break until Blizzard fixes class balance again, somewhat, and... Well, it's probably not a bad idea right now, to be honest. This, the sad thing really for me is that the class balance in Dragonflight was actually really good until 10.15. We saw many different comps being played in Season 1, and even in Season 2, before 10.15, it was pretty damn good. Yes, Shadow Priest was and still is an outlier, but that's just one spec rather than five. And also... Going into this patch, my team was well over the cutoff. I think we were about 150 score above the title cutoff. And after the patch, it's not looking like we're going to get the title actually on our mains at all. The cutoff is just rising so fast after the patch um, to the point where, yeah, we're not going to get the title, most likely. Uh, we actually tried to keep playing our mains as usual uh, the last couple of weeks, but even with clean runs, we are hitting a DPS and or a survivability wall at plus 27 keys. Uh, something my team found really depressing, or at least something I found depressing, was uh, a plus 27 freehold that we attempted. It was a relatively clean run. We had maybe three deaths or so going into the last boss, but we also only had two minutes left going into the last boss, so we didn't have enough time, and we ended up depleting by two minutes, and that was in the, with a clean run. Meanwhile, People are timing plus 29s. Yes, they obviously they are really good players, but there shouldn't be such a big difference between them and our non-meta comp. And even on the TGP, they have been timing plus 30s, and that's after nerfs to this god comp. So yeah, that's pretty much when we came to the realization that we can't keep up with our mains. So we have reluctantly made meta ults to level and gear up. Alpha, the Vengeance Demon Hunter, he's gone Guardian Druid. Kurva has gone from Ret to Holy Paladin. Laren has gone from Resto Shaman to Shadow Priest. Varug has gone from Rogue to Augmentation Evoker. And I've gone from Warrior to Fire Mage. And I'm, I'm not even going to talk about the other classes. I'll just talk about my change here. Uh, Fire Mages, they just deal insane damage. N nobody can match their AoE. They seemingly have infinite defensives, mobility and utility as well. It's just crazy how good their kit is for M+, going from warrior to mage. And um, I've only played this mage for four days at this point. Yesterday, uh, I was 437. I still don't really know how to play this class. And um, already now, this mage is matching my 447 DPS warrior in overall DPS in M+. I don't understand how this can be a thing. I have so much experience on this warrior versus basically a noob mage at 437. And I probably will get beaten on my main warrior against this mage. It's... It doesn't make sense. So yeah. 
I also want to talk about the TGP. This whole thing really has put a serious dampener on my excitement for the TGP. Because before 10.15, I know for a fact that many teams were preparing a DPS warrior for certain keys for TGP. So we were probably going to see DPS warriors and we were going to see variety in team comps, but now it's just the five meta specs, the Exodia Gaunt comp. I don't know, man. Anyway, that is why I'm upset. And that's the end of my rant. I hope that Blizzard can fix this somewhat soon. And I'm aware that I belong in a sort of a small group of the player base. So I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you agree, disagree, or have you got something to add? If so, please come up, put a comment below and thank you for watching. See ya.